All right, let's watch this in full first here. This one does not have any sound. Uh, the previous version does. I'm going to show the previous version as well. Oh, there's some interesting camera changes I did not uh, expect here. Still all very cool idea. I'm just not hugely a fan of that close camera, but it's all done. So this is the old one with sound. They both still have that very long opening, which I would still cut since there's nothing really that happens at the beginning there. And this one, one of the comments was that it was just a bit far away. So I like that you brought it closer. That framing up a bit too soon is still somewhat happening. But I thought that this was clearer in terms of like how far away we are. It still had some of that covering, but I think that I mean, that was kind of okay. It was just close enough. And then just that here was just too slow, which is still happening in, in this new version. But that just has a good cues about the sound when he shoots. Because it's not super clear without the sound, right? So in this version... <clears throat> Again, it's still fairly long. I would still cut that. Either you start here or, I mean, unless you have something where the door is shaking and, and you have sound. But the thing is, if no one has the sound on, it's going to be just a very long shot that people either will just turn off, like the movie, or, you know, switch it off, click it off. Um, so to me, it seems like I would just start around here. Like I said, in the old one. But I do like that it's closer. That this action is much cooler. But I think we're going up too high still, where uh, that height, I would have his head around here. So I would just tilt down and reframe this a bit more. But the actions are great. There are more breakdowns there than before. I think that's very cool. And I like that slipping around there on the legs. And also the pushing off using the gun there. I would just be careful once you do that push off. But have more an extended arm like it pushes off and that extension there and then he brings that arm up but it's all a matter of more breakdowns then now that we're closer it was it was already framed up a bit too high but now that we're closer it's it's more pronounced i would again tilt down and reframes that the head is here so we don't cut off right there and we don't have something here this is unless you had a second creature coming in it's framed as if we're expecting something to come in so once we're around here, this is better if it was throughout like this. Now, if you have problems with the framing because of the step mode, you might have to spline this just to kind of see what the general action is so we can reframe. Um, but like I said, in the, in the other clip, I can help you with, um, what's the word? With some handheld camera stuff. It could be kind of fun to do. This is better that you are reframing after the creature does this, I think that's a lot better. But what I would do is, since there's no sound, uh, I would just indicate with some, you know, crappy sphere or something or some lines when the character is shooting. So, you have it, so we can see what's going on. Because right now it just shoots uh, and we, we need to know, is that because of the recoil or is that because of a post change? So watch out for that. And definitely splining is going to help you because that stuff is a bit funky when we're really popping over one frame, not knowing how long this is actually going to take. And their framing is, is a bit wonky. But I feel like in this version, we're too close. Like now we're really covering the, uh, the creature and we're just a bit too close. I kind of prefer the framing of the old one where it's, I would say, max this. But again, we're covering this up a lot more. The other one that just had the foot. Watch out, we are also framing up too quickly. So it would have to be the character that motivates that reframe. So I'll go tilt down with the camera still and only now go up. That's driven by the character. I 
yeah, I feel like we're just too close. We're starting to miss a lot of information. Just gets a bit. I mean, it has that feeling of claustrophobia. Oh, we're too close, and oh, what's going to happen? But I feel in terms of showing off animation, I think you're just a bit too close, and you want to show off your cool ideas just a bit more. Like that gets a bit. Like we're really close. You're getting into some funky framing. You're covering, depending on how the breakdowns are, you might be covering the face for too long. Like generally, I like how this character is looming over this character. I think that's cool. But well, we're just a bit too close. And this still has that very slow... Um, what's it called? Tilt up. But of course, uh, my question last time was if you wanted to do... You know, some very complex animation. Maybe tilt up, linger a little bit and do that animation here. And then tilt up a bit more to do the final... Where there might be a bit of a lean in over the other character's face. As opposed to just one long tilt up. So let me know. Same question as before. Let me know what you want to do there. Such a cool rig though. Super creepy. Love all this here. Just in terms of that. The creature, the danger of that. And then this. But this is much scarier than this. And that's why I said maybe you want to lean over to give that an extra. You know, maybe the head is then this big. Maybe some drool coming down. But that's it. Cool. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.